Hello, my friends, and welcome back. What happens when a plus-size influencer demands that the FAA and the airlines give fat flyers as many extra seats as they need to spread out? Today, we're going to be examining that question with a couple of clips as well as an article from the Daily Mail, the most trusted source of news. Oh, my shirt is a little wet right here. I just shaved my neck, so um, that's not like grease stains or something. <laughs> I promise that this stain will slowly go away as the video goes on. Let us proceed with the applying of comb to mustache. Plus size influencer demands FAA and airlines give fat flyers as many free seats as they need to spread themselves out and admits other passengers may have to foot the bill. Oh, you admit that the rest of us might have to foot the bill. And eh, what if we don't agree? You know, I don't think I don't feel like footing the bill. Jalen Cheney, a travel and lifestyle creator based in Vancouver, is demanding the FAA to protect plus-sized travelers and make it more comfortable. She suggested airlines provide bigger seats or an extra free seat to larger passengers and refunds for passengers who purchased two seats. Cheney admits she did not know who would fund the cost of the suggestions, but believed the changes were worth it. <laughs> A common theme among fat acceptance, we don't know who's going to fund this thing, uh, just do it. What do you mean you don't know who's going to fund it? Clearly I'm going to fund it. We all are going to fund it on your behalf. All the people who are not morbidly obese are going to pay for the extra seat for the morbidly obese person because of all sorts of systemic phobias and let's not forget the isms, okay? People definitely aren't where they are today because of the actions they took yesterday. <laughs> That's definitely not what's happening. You're not just laying in the bed that you made for yourself. Uh, a plus-sized influencer has demanded the Federal Aviation Authority and airlines give overweight flyers as many free seats as they require to fly comfortably. What if I want to fly with a pack of dogs? Can I get extra seats for all of them? I got like 25 dogs that I want to bring on this plane. Um, and we all actually need first class. These are very fancy dogs. Um, so yes, we got a lot of good boys here um, and we're gonna need a lot of nice seats. Jay Lynn Cheney, a travel and lifestyle creator based in Vancouver, wants the Federal Aviation Authority to protect plus-sized travelers and make flying in coach comfortable and accessible for everyone. She also wants airlines to be forced to refund overweight passengers for any extra seats they're forced to purchase when booking to accommodate their size. As plus-size travelers, my partner and I have unfortunately experienced discrimination and discomfort while flying, she wrote in her petition, which has been signed by around 4,300 people as of Saturday afternoon. Okay, how do we unsign a petition? How can we unsign a couple thousand of those people off of there? You guys clearly were not in your right mind when you signed that. She added, all plus size passengers should be provided with an extra free seat, or even two or three seats, depending on their size. Two or three seats. Dude, if you need three seats to fit on an airplane, bro. No, no, you don't get three free seats while the rest of us have to fit into one. Oh my God. Dude, what planet are you guys from? This is getting completely insane now. This ain't even funny. You want three seats for free. Everybody else has to pay for the space that they occupy, but not you because of whatever you did to yourself, right? I put myself in this position, so now everybody else has to suffer and pay for me. I am putting other people out, like what about when you go to the hospital and there's three or four people to try to help you out of your hospital bed or into or out of a wheelchair? We've all seen morbidly obese people on TV being tended to by multiple people. You're literally putting multiple people out here. I'm not saying that every morbidly obese person is inconveniencing people around them, but when you get to the size where you're occupying three seats, dude, you are somebody who requires 24-7 care, most likely. If you need three assistants to help you get into or out of a wheelchair, perhaps traveling on an airplane um, shouldn't be at the top of your priorities list, you know? If you occupy the same space as three other adult human beings, 
Um, you know, perhaps going to the Caribbean this weekend shouldn't be at the top of your priorities list. Although, I mean, you may as well live it up now while you can, I guess. Not to be morbid or mean, but that is literally the truth of the situation, dude. If you occupy three seats, man, oh, you are not long for this world, my friend. That's what trips me out about this. Like when you see like somebody with an oxygen tank hooked up to their face and they're talking about like the struggles of dating or something. You're like, dating? Bro, you're dying. <laughs> what are you doing to go in on a date right now, bro? Extra two or three seats. Oh my goodness, madam. Madam. Turning her attention to reimbursements, Cheney added, airlines should offer a refund for plus-size passengers who purchase additional seats independently. This should be a straightforward process that can be accessed online or through customer service. So if you have to buy additional seats because you are in additional seats, they should give you money back for that for some reason. But what if you did use the additional space? Why would you get your money back? You did occupy additional space. All right, now we're gonna take a look at a couple of clips from the creator who is behind this petition. Jay Bay, Jay Lynn Cheney. Did you know that more than 1 billion people in the world are plus size? Did you know that 100 years ago, this was not the case? Not even close. That's roughly 13% of the population. Those genetics have really kicked in this past 50 years, especially. Everybody's genetically gotten very overweight from their genetics alone. This is weird. It's like all of us decided at the same time to gain a whole bunch of weight <laughs> genetically. <laughs> We're in this together. And yet many airlines still don't have clear policies in place to accommodate plus size passengers. I propose that we make something similar to the luggage thing. You know when you're going to get on the plane and there's that thing and it's like, yo, if your luggage can't fit in this hole, we're gonna have to charge you extra, son. <laughs> they need to make something like that with seats and just have like a seat and they stuff you into it. And like, if you can't stuff in there, we're gonna have to charge you extra, son. <laughs> and I don't want something simple like a scale. That would be too easy. No, I want something where somebody has to try to cram you into something that you may not fit into. So hilarity will ensue. We have these two poles right here. If we can't shove you between them, we're gonna have to charge you extra. That's why I've started a petition calling on the FAA to require every airline to have a clear customer size policy in place for plus size passengers. No the FAA, the Federal Aviation Authority, you're getting federal authorities involved in stuff now. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. This feels like a crime <laughs> to be to be involving the federal government in this feels like a crime. No one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment and discrimination that often nobody should have to live with the embarrassment of their own actions, right? There's no such thing as shame anymore. Nobody should feel embarrassed about anything. You did a bunch of shameful stuff back there, but yeah, you don't need to feel any shame about that. Don't uh, shame this person. Nobody needs to feel bad about anything ever. Lately, everybody seems to be trying to not hurt their own emotions, but it's causing them to hurt reality, right? Like, I don't wanna hurt my own feelings, so I'm hurting my physical body. Seems to be what's happening uh, pretty regularly now in many different ways. It comes with being a plus size passenger trying to navigate air travel. By signing this petition, you can help us demand that airlines take concrete steps. To Okay, well, when they make all the seats all gigantic and regular people can't fit in them anymore, I guess the rest of us just won't give them our money. Make air travel more inclusive and accommodating for all passengers. Whether you're plus size or not, everybody deserves to be treated with dignity and respect when they fly. Let so you want free extra seats or larger seats, both of which are not fair to people who are not living in a larger body. Let's work together to make sure that the travel industry serves everyone, not just a select few. Sign and share this petition and let's make a difference. Let's see, how do I unsign a petition on behalf of somebody else so I can uh, get some of those nonsense signatures off of that? Every one of those signatures is from somebody who's overweight and is all up in their emotions and not thinking rationally, right? And their rational mind, they know that they want to lose weight and they've been trying to lose weight for a very long time and they're sad that they can't do it. And their irrational mind, oh, it's everybody else's fault. We need to change the world around us. When you're all emotional and stuff, you can't be trusted to make a rational decision on anything. So petitions mean nothing. There are thousands of damaged people out there with all kinds of issues that would sign a petition telling you that you could do this, that, or the other ridiculous thing just because they can't get over their own emotions, right? They can't get over their own issues, so they can't see the world beyond their own eyes. Let's take a look at another clip. Things I will never do again as a plus-size traveler. 
Being scared to ask for a seatbelt extender and sacrificing my comfort. Book a middle seat on a plane they are the worst for plus size travelers. Okay, you have to do a lot of extra stuff. Try to make myself as small as possible even though I'm a paying customer. Sit yeah, stop trying to make yourself as small as possible. See, I never understood the try to make myself as small as possible one. This isn't the first time that we've heard this. And I'm just as confused today as I was the first time I heard it. There is literally nothing you can do to make yourself any smaller. Or you could go from like taking up this much space to taking up that much space. Did you see how much my arm came in right there? It came in like from here to like right there. Like that's literally nothing. <laughs> you can't just suck it in. It makes me think that like these people have been sucking in their gut since the time that they were young and that they could do it. Like there's a certain point when you first start getting overweight where you can suck in your gut, but like maybe they didn't notice that they just kept putting on weight more and more and more as time goes on. So you have like a Tammy Slayton sized person who's all like over there like <clears throat> trying to suck in their gut, but completely unaware that they're well beyond the point of being able to suck in their gut. Not to be mean to anybody or anything, it's just that human beings are really good at diluting ourselves and minimizing the problem. This isn't that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, I haven't been able to see my genitals in a few years, but you know, that's that happens to everybody, probably. In a seat where the armrests don't raise and leave with bruises. I like the concept of armrests that don't raise. It forces everyone to stay in their spot. And if you can't, well, at least it's keeping you off of me from the seat step myself into the tiny airplane bathroom right and your solution to all of this very alarming stuff is that the faa and the airlines need to give you a free extra seat do they also need to make the bathroom larger any of this could be a red flag at any time now dude laughing off the comments that are actually rude about being a plus size traveler not bringing my own towel and only being able to cover a third of my body relying on being able to buy plus size clothing once i get there i would suggest if you're plus size uh, that you bring your own clothes of course if you have a hard time finding clothes clearly you don't want to go to some new place and then try to find clothes what are you going to do you know you're like i hope they have a whatever a torrid or whatever i actually just saw a torrid for the first time the other day i was at this mall this dead mall and there was a torrid in there i wanted to go in there and take a bunch of pictures of me shopping in there and it would be funny and cute and then we would play like some pretty woman music as i come out in different outfits and stuff but you know <laughs> oh my god that would be so funny just do a little montage of me trying on different plus size outfits to that pretty woman montage music or whatever that's a skit that I want to do, where I just keep coming out in different plus size outfits, and then Lizzo is sitting there in a chair, and every time I come out in a different outfit, she looks at it and goes. And then finally I come out in one, she's like, oh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Flying with airlines I know are not plus size friendly. Waiting to take a trip until I lose weight. Yeah, you shouldn't wait to take a trip until you lose weight. What if we keep gaining weight, though? What if, like, last year we just barely squeezed in between the armrests, and this year we cannot? Like, then what? Then what do we do? Then we start demanding stuff from the airlines, apparently. Apparently that's step two. Step one, grow larger than the seats can fit. Step two, start demanding stuff from other people because of what you did. I think that this is a typo right here. It says, Cheney admits that price tickets would have to rise. I think they meant to say that ticket prices would have to rise. If she were to get her way and concedes non-overweight passengers could be faced with higher ticket prices to help cover improvements. Well, of course, the thin passengers are going to have to pay for this. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to pay for it. Certainly isn't going to be us plus size folk, that's for sure. It's not our fault that we kept eating until we were this size and then we no longer fit in the seat and we're spilling into everybody else's seat. It's not my... Wait a minute. During a flight from Pasco to Denver, my fiancé was subjected to hateful comments, disapproving looks, and even refusal to sit next to them, amounting to discrimination. Amounting to discrimination. Oh my goodness. That does amount to discrimination, like, a lot. Similarly, on another flight, I was forced to occupy only one seat with immovable armrests that caused me pain and bruises. Well, you know, for thousands of years, 
the chair has not changed as a human invention. Thousands of years, human beings have been able to fit into this thing. So it's weird that uh, just in the past like 50 years, genetically, everybody became overweight. It's weird, man. Those genetics really kicked in recently. In videos posted to her Instagram, Chaney has widely documented her struggles flying from showing her and her boyfriend being tightly packed into seats to showing what some passengers have said to her, including asking her if she bought two seats. They say it's not fair to the person who has to sit next to me if I don't. They're talking about if she doesn't pay for an extra seat. Text overlaid on the video read, When I tell them I do, they say I'm selfish for taking a seat from another. Nobody said that. When you buy two seats, nobody says you're selfish for taking a seat from another. You bought a thing, and then you used the thing. In this country, there's no such thing as being selfish for buying a product. It's the basis of our economy. Pretty sure this person is lying. Nobody would ever accuse you of being selfish for buying another seat because you're too big to fit in one seat. Wow, look at her. She's buying two seats because she can't fit in one seat? <laughs> Selfish. Somebody else could have sat in that seat and gotten crushed. Like, no, nobody's saying that, dude. I know there's a trend lately to try to shame people for buying things that they felt like buying with their own money in a free open market, but uh, nobody actually does that in real life. They're like, oh my god, that guy bought a nice watch. What a jerk. <laughs> Some people do. Losers do that. Losers go around trying to make people feel guilty about succeeding. Look at him. He's buying a nice car. <laughs> we live in a fascinating society where people are simultaneously worshipping money and material things and also trying to shame people for succeeding and spending their money on material things. Anytime somebody buys something nice these days, there's always somebody there to be like, Starving kids somewhere could have blah blah blah. Dude, shut up. We must all suffer all the time because somebody somewhere is not succeeding. However, when Chaney is forced to occupy only one seat, it can lead her to being in pain and causing chafing, as well as being subjected to poor treatment from fellow passengers. Oh, you mean when you violate their personal space, they have a problem with that. That's weird. Why would they care about that? This mistreatment of plus-size passengers is unacceptable. What do you mean, your mistreatment? You spill into somebody else's seat? and then you say that they are mistreating you? Oh my goodness. And it highlights the urgent need for better policies that protect the dignity and rights of all passengers, regardless of size, she wrote. Unfortunately, plus-size passengers often experience discomfort and discrimination when flying. The lack of a uniform customer of size airline policy is unacceptable and must be addressed. Customer of size? Oh boy. We're going down the person of size Whitney Way Thor route. And yes, I am absolutely familiar with that person and that show. Oh my gosh. Chaney currently uses seatbelt extenders to make flying a more comfortable experience. She hasn't commented on why she doesn't fly business or first class, which offers much bigger seats, although those fares are far more expensive than regular coach seats. You shouldn't eat your body into first class size if all you can afford is coach. You know? That kind of reminds me of that saying, don't write a check with your mouth that your butt can't cash. <laughs> if you only got Applebee's money, don't be trying to eat at a Michelin star restaurant, homie. That's just common sense. She also believes crew members should undergo training on how to accommodate plus-size travelers, including handling sensitive situations and providing appropriate customer service. Was there an emergency and they had to deploy the oxygen mask? Oh, no, 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 no. That's... Oh, okay, no. You just have that. Okay. Typically, when there's an emergency, oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling. If you have to wear one of those before an emergency has even happened, you might currently be in an emergency yourself, physically. You got on the plane already in a state of emergency and requiring assistance. It's like getting on the plane and you've already inflated that inflatable seat thing. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, man, but these things write themselves, dude. As soon as you get on the plane, you go right to the emergency exit and freaking deploy the, the slide and just jump right off. In addition, she believes TSA should also be trained and implement clear guidelines for screening plus-size travelers, train agents on how to respectfully interact with plus-size travelers, offer sensitivity training, and provide accessible screening equipment. What? Sensitivity training? Why? People need to address you in a certain kind of way, your majesty, huh? Cheney has also suggested a wheelchair-accessible bathroom be added to all new airplanes. Dude, 
What else do you want? Okay, well, I'm demanding free booze from all the airlines this day forward. This is something I think we could all get behind, right? Like, give me the alcohol for free and stop limiting me to three drinks, dude. How drunk do you think I could get off of four drinks? Not that drunk, or even five. I'm not gonna get that crazy just because of all those times in the past where I got that crazy. Shut up. This change will improve accessibility for passengers of all sizes and abilities, allowing them to use the restroom comfortably and without difficulty. Actually, if you try to sit on one of those handicapped toilets, it's up all high, dude. It's a high toilet, so you don't get a proper squat going. This will promote a more inclusive and accommodating travel experience, demonstrating the industry's commitment to serving all passengers equally, she wrote on the petition. However, Cheney pointed out she did not know who would have to fund the cost of the changes she suggested, but believes the changes are worth it. Exactly. Where's the money going to come from? Me? No, I disagree, so I'm not funding it. It is difficult to provide a one-size-fits-all answer to the question of who will pay for the policies mentioned in the petition, she told Fox News in a statement. Fox, I thought we were on the Daily Mail. What the heck? We got, like, news publications getting their news from other news publications? Okay. Implementing policies to accommodate plus-size passengers may come with associated costs, but these costs must be weighed against the benefits of creating a more welcoming and inclusive travel experience. No, they don't. And I disagree with all of the aforementioned. That's my official stance. Disagreement. Once again, we're trying to change the world around us instead of doing the easier task of changing ourselves. It is a metaphor for life to keep making up all these other boogeymen to fight instead of looking within and conquering your own demons. As human beings, we do this a lot. Try to blame everything on somebody else, make ourselves the victim, not take personal accountability. I think that we should make airline seats smaller. Um, I think they're too big already. Everybody's got too much space. We could probably take another four inches off the side of those things. And uh, it is what it is. If you can't fit in there, whatever. We don't need your money. We're the airlines, dude. We're too big to fail. We already put you through seven kinds of hell just to get on the stupid plane and you put up with it. <laughs> You'll do whatever we say. If this is your first time seeing me, hi. I'm the cynical dude. Welcome to the channel. If you've seen me before and watched some of my other videos, why don't you subscribe? Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.